Hi everybody. For this week's art activity, we're going to be exercising our imaginations and creating some shape monsters. Now for our shape monsters, we're going to be using two main kinds of shapes, and those are geometric shapes and organic shapes. Geometric shapes like these are shapes that we know the names of and they're shapes that we see in our math book. So an example would be a triangle or a square or a circle or a rectangle or a trapezoid. Organic shapes are also called freeform shapes and they're shapes that we don't really have names for. They're kind of wiggly and fun and they're shapes that could come from your imagination or they're shapes that could come from nature like the shape of a leaf or even the shape of your hand. When we create our shape monsters today, we're going to be mixing up these different kinds of shapes and using both of them to create some interesting designs. The first thing that you're going to need is a piece of paper. And this could be any kind of paper you have at home, whether it's printer paper or uh, construction paper or drawing paper. Next, you're going to choose the materials that you will be making your shapes with. Now, I like to use paints, especially for organic shapes. It's fun to kind of swirl the paint around and create some really interesting shapes. And again, if you don't have paint, there are some very simple ways that you can make your own at home. If you have tin foil, or if you have a Ziploc bag and a washable marker, the easiest way to make paint is to scribble onto your foil. You can add some water to the color and that makes a really nice paint. And again, you can do the same process on the Ziploc bag if I color right onto the bag, add my water, and it becomes paint. So if you do have these things at home, I would highly suggest trying it out. It's really fun, really easy, and it comes out looking really, really nice. If you do not have these things at home, you're welcome to use any kind of colored materials that you have, whether it's crayons or colored pencils or a marker, anything that you choose to create your shapes. And we're going to be using a mix of geometric and organic shapes for our shape monsters. Now that I have chosen my materials, it's time to get started. If you're using paint like I did, you're going to want to give your painting a little bit of time to dry before moving on to the next step. Now that my painting's dry, the next thing I'm going to work on is the details for my shape monsters. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating the eyes. And I like to do this on a separate piece of paper with a marker. That way the eyes stay nice and bright. So how many monsters do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to come up with different designs for each of my monsters. I think I'm going to start off with some big cute eyes. And once I'm done drawing my eyes, I'm going to cut them out and glue them into place. Now that I've finished adding my eyes, the next thing to work on is the rest of the features like nose and mouth, different outfits, any accessories that your monsters may have. I like to think about different activities that the monsters could be doing or ways that they could be interacting with each other in order to add my details and create different kinds of personalities for my monsters. Now you can use any kind of materials you have on hand for this. You could use crayons, you could use colored pencils, or you could just use a marker.
All right, everybody, I have finished up my shape monsters. They came out so cute and funny looking, and I had so much fun picking the features for my creatures. Now let's test your knowledge. See if you can figure out which of these creatures are made with geometric shapes and which ones are made with organic shapes. If you need a second to take a look, go ahead and pause the video. All right, if you guessed that these creatures were made with organic shapes, you would be correct. The rest of them are made using geometric shapes. I hope you all have a wonderful time creating your monsters this week and I am super excited to see how they turn out.